Greetings, friend. I'll teach you everything you need to know about the Sudoku technique called bi-value universal grave plus one, also known as bug plus one. I'll cover all the relevant definitions and conditions in my first example. And then with my second example, you'll get the chance to solve your own puzzle using bug plus one. Click below for puzzle links. And with that, it's solving time. This is our first example from Sudoku Wiki. Dot org and we're at the point in the puzzle where you can apply that bug plus one technique you might notice i already highlighted a green cell here this is the most important cell this is the plus one cell so what is a bug bug stands for by value universal grave so bug plus one is a technique that can solve a grid where every unsolved cell has two possible cans except for one and so there's three conditions here that you're going to notice. One, one cell has three possible candidates, which is our green cell right there. Two, all other unsolved cells have two possible candidates. So if you look to the rest of this puzzle, everything that's unsolved, these are all by value cells, meaning they all have two candidates remaining. And the third condition is that the puzzle must have one unique solution. Okay, so at this point, you can apply the bug plus one technique. You can solve all the remaining cells with the one technique, and it's so much fun. But before I do that, I need to make two very important points. First, why does the puzzle have a unique solution? Well, if this puzzle did not have a unique solution, and let's say this only had two candidates there, we'll, uh, we'll remove the six. And if this cell only had two candidates, then what you could do is you could solve this cell for a one and solve the remaining parts, you know, solve this for three, solve this for one, go all the way around, solve the rest of the puzzle. And then if you went back and you put in a seven, you would actually be able to solve the whole puzzle with the other candidate that's in each one of these cells. There's no differentiator, there's no candidate that makes it so there's only one unique solution. And we can't have that. If you know the puzzle has a unique solution, you know there's only one way we can go with this puzzle and solve it. So we're trying to avoid this deadly trap of having two solutions. And then the second point I want to make is that in theory, you can solve all bug plus one positions using an X, Y chain. And so an X, Y chain is, you know, a sequence of a chain of cells that all have by value cells that you can make eliminations. But this is a little bit harder to spot and execute than a bug plus one. In this uh, puzzle here, you could start in this cell and you could go, you know, nine to the five, five to the three, three to the eight, eight to the six, six to the four, four to the nine. And what you'd go is either this cell is a nine. If this cell is not a nine, that'd be a five, a three, an eight, six, a four. This cell would be a nine. And so you can eliminate any cell uh, a nine from any cell that sees both of these so you can eliminate the nine right here and here and you'd be able to solve those cells and actually by using an xy chain you're proving that there is one unique solution to the puzzle and you move on from that you don't need to even have the uniqueness issue however this is a little bit harder to find it actually took me a little while to find that xy chain when you like to do something that's way easier and more fun so would i and I'm about to show you the bug plus one. I want you to know, you know, if you're new to the channel, I welcome you into smart hobbies. Subscribe if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. So now here's how you implement the bug plus one. You just go to the plus one cell right here, and you look for the candidate that appears three times in the row. The column and the block and you might notice that you see a six in these three cells a six uh, in this column and in the block and a six in these three cells there's only going to be one candidate that will be shown three times and it'll be three times in the row column and block and then you just solve that cell the plus one for that candidate that's going to be a six because this breaks the monotony of the deadly pattern by putting that and it appears three times right there. And now you want to see that this puzzle will solve very quickly now. So that's a one, that's a three, that's a one. It's going to be a seven, that's a five, 
that's a nine, that's a seven. Okay, and then with the five, you got the eight here. Six and an eight right there. With the six, you got the four, nine, four right there. All right, you're gonna have a three and a five right here because you already got a four, that's gonna be a six. And then you just go seven, one, six right here. You can go down here and go four, one, seven. All righty. And then with this six, you can go eight, three, and a six. You see how that works? And now with this eight, you can go with this four, two, and an eight right there. With the two, you can go five, nine, and a two. And then come on up here with this nine. You go, that's a five. That's going to be three and that's going to be a nine awesome great job that's so much fun you go all the way to the end of the puzzle solving that way in fact it's so much fun i think you need to try it yourself with my next example okay for my second example this is also from sudoku wiki it was exemplar number one the first practice puzzle so i'm going to give you a few seconds see if you can spot the bug plus one cell and how to solve it to move forward Okay, congratulations if you looked and noticed that all these cells have two candidates except for this cell right here. And if you took it a step further and said, okay, I can see an eight and three cells in the column and in the block and across the row, so I know that you can solve this cell for an eight. Congratulations, you understand how bug plus one works. And then you can finish solving the rest of this puzzle. So that's an eight, that's a two. That's a five, that's a one, that's a seven, and that's a five. That's gonna be a six, that's gonna be an eight. This is gonna be your six, your two, your one. Got an eight right there, and our last digit is a seven. Now see if you can spot the bug plus one in this next video. Thank you so much for watching.